I am here in the kitchen. Um, I am trying so hard to get a system routine, some sort of organization um, going. We are out of school for the summer. We homeschool our kids and during the year we have a homeschool co-op that we attend once a week. So uh, that's all done. Our day is more free. And when I say we're done homeschooling kids, you're not really ever done homeschooling kids. I uh, make them read in the afternoons. We learn are constantly learning. Um, my little one today was trying to figure out how to make a fish trap and he was having to read the instructions. So there is learning going on all the time. Here's another example. That Those eggs were cooked by my eight-year-old. That sausage was cooked by my nine-year-old. So there's always learning going on. But as far as structure, <laughs> everybody's structure is gone and it's really catching up with me. Um, I'm not typically a structured person. I just need loose a loose outline of what's going on. But that being said, I need to get more structure in my life. So my goal today was to uh, get up early, <laughs> water the garden, milk the cow, and be done with all of that by now. But that hasn't happened. So I had planned on uh, getting up early and going out to the garden and then milking before, you know, everyone's up and the day's going. And it's a really good thing I did it because Mr. Bear decided to come through and I would have been out there at that time and it probably would have freaked me out <laughs> and I would have come home anyway. So whatever, it all works out. But I do need to get better about a routine. I do need to get better about posting videos. I just need to get better in a lot of things. And I think that's okay. Um, we all have room to grow. So let's just grow. Rode around everywhere, tried to run the bear off so he didn't bother you this morning. You're so sweet to me. All right, everything's looking pretty decent. I'm really pleased with how my tomatoes are taking off, especially since I saved a lot of these tomato seeds from last year, and I'm really excited to see how that goes um, this year and do a lot more of that. But everything is super happy. I love the way it's laid out. And it's working. I've tried really hard to go by making graphs and to stick through it and do it that way. But um, really, it's just whatever I feel when I'm out here. I just go with it. It's like, I don't know. It's like a work of art. Um, and I also noticed I've let these volunteer zinnias come up. And I've noticed they're doing so much better than the ones I started from seed. Like, ones I started from seed don't even have a little flower bulb on it, so. We'll just let it go. Anyway, I'm going to finish my coffee and get this garden watered. Something was digging right there. And then they, these are all of our melons and sort of winter squashes Aaron mowed and it mulched all that up there but um yeah pumpkins they're doing really good which is exciting <laughs> and one more thing I want to check on are the beans um they are not okay I've got a few up I've had a hard time with green beans this year and I'm really frustrated by that because in years past, I've just been like, oh, I'll throw green bean seeds in and it's just is what it is. But this year I really wanna make, and I wanna show you all how to make our absolute favorite pickled green beans. And I wanna make a lot of them because my kids love it. Kids that come over 
love them and their parents are like, oh my gosh, my kid's eating a green bean at your house. So it's something I really, really want to keep stocked and I can't do that if I don't have any green beans. So um, I have planted three rounds of them and when I was at the store yesterday, I bought another pack of green bean seeds just in case. Um, but it looks like I've got quite a few coming up now. So hopefully with me being really good about coming up here and watering every day, I'll be able to get them to germinate. It's been a really dry spring and uh, stuff's just kind of struggling. So let's get watering. If you haven't seen this before, I did a whole video on it, but I'll just give you a little rundown. This is a fertilizer, weed killer, sprayer, um, and it, Aaron has it to where it plugs into the battery of our ATV here, and then I can just fill it up with water and go. You literally are the most perfect cow. Like, for real. I never understood... I think I've said this before. I've never understood people's obsessions with their cows. Like, it's a cow. <laughs> I didn't grow up with cows. Like, I was never around cows. I had a horse and I absolutely adored her. Her name was Honey and she was amazing. And when I had found out I was having my second son, which it, they're, the boys are 19 months apart. I knew I couldn't give her the attention that she deserved. Um, physically, I wasn't able to ride and she had to go to a new home. It was really sad. But after we got Ruthie and Maple, um, like, I'm in love and I feel like I have Honey, my horse, all over again. They're literally the same personality and just real sweet, easy to please, happy to see you. Um, I'm going to milk and feed Miss Maple Girl and spend my time with my Ruthie Girl and get her all fly sprayed because they are terrible. Oh, one thing I want to touch on since I mentioned the bears earlier. Uh, the, they are the reason we don't grow corn. The first year we gardened here, we had beautiful corn. I mean, we were going to have a great corn harvest and that bear came through and plowed everything over in its path. Like he could have walked around the garden cause it was on the end. He didn't. And, um, once the corn was gone, he never came back and destroyed anything else. And we've had bears come through, but they've never destroyed anything since then. So we just don't buy, we just don't grow corn. We choose to support our local farmers um, and buy corn from them. Hey, hey. Good morning. Good morning. I know. That's a good girl. She's uh, not been handled, and so I do my best to let her come to me um, and get used to me. Her plan is to be eventually a milk cow. We'll alternate between Ruthie and Maple is the idea. Uh, we have um, family members who are going to be sharing in on that, so we may need, I, I would venture to say we're going to need both. Um, I'm talking and you just want to get in there. Um, so yeah, between our family and their family, we're definitely going to need a milk cow at all times. So um, when Ruthie's dry, we'll have maple. Um, when maple's dry, we'll have Ruthie and whatever other cows and babies come from them. You can't have my coffee.
<cười> Lấy đi She doesn't normally do that to me. I don't know what her deal is. The flies have been horrible and I think they're just messing with her. Oh my God. Okay, sweet girl. It's your least favorite part, actually. Let me spray you down one more time. I don't like the face. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But those, man, the flies are horrible. Um, this is her least favorite part because she likes to eat. <laughs> Go on, girlfriend. I'll bring you some hay out in the field. Come on. Come on. Ruthie, come on. Come on. Look, I got hay for you. Ay, ay, ay. Good girl. Come on. Good girl. So they have a pretty good size pasture, as you can see. Um, it's great grass, well taken care of, all the, all the things. But when she came to us, she was on the skin side. Um, so I do give her some grain um, in the morning and at night, only like a scoop, not a lot. And um, I put alfalfa in it too. So. It's really not a lot of grain, but it's enough to help her keep her condition. And then I do supplement with a local uh, farmer, literally right down the street. I give, we buy our um, hay from him. Because not only is she in milk and she's nursing, she's supplying us with milk, but we were told she's bred. So I just want to make sure she's getting enough calories and that she's keeping her <laughs> condition um, because she's got a lot to do, right, Maple? You won't. Maple's decided she doesn't like alfalfa now and eats around it. I give Maple a little bit of grain because it's the same thing I feed Mama because she's weaning. I lock her up at night. And then I wait maybe like an hour or two. <laughs> oh, you're getting, you're letting me touch your face now. I wait maybe an hour or two and then let her out. I just, I could let her out right away. But when I watch her go to mama right after she's been milked, like, ah, she's empty and she's like bumping her and I don't know. I <laughs> just can't do it. So... I don't know. They're animals, but I just can't take it. The the mama in me can't take it. So Maple has to have, she has to have hay in her feeder at all times because she's not on the grass nearly as much as mama is. Mama's there 24 seven. We never put her in the barn. When we separate, I keep her out in the field. So she has that good green grass, which gives us that beautiful yellow rich cream. Grandma's gonna come over in a little bit. Hey, no, she's not home. What are you doing? Survival, survival in the goat pen? Survival in the jungle. Oh, survival in the jungle. Okay, keep up the good work.
in the door. That way everyone knows what's up to be drank. If not, uh, they're drinking the super fresh milk, which is fine, but then the stuff in the back doesn't get drank. And you know how that goes. So I came in to a beautifully clean kitchen. When I left here, it was a mess and my husband's so good that way. So he is off to go help some friends. My dough for my bread is rising. And I think we're gonna have some company here pretty soon. <laughs> Just a busy day. But I hope to, um, in between all of that, get my peppers finished and put in the ground as well as um, some onions and stuff. I need to plant out. Hi, sweet girl, you wanna come out? Come on. Oh, don't you come out here. There you go. So it looks like we're getting a random rain shower, so no gardening. I'm gonna go ahead and just work here in the kitchen. I've got some lettuce to clean up, uh, some spinach to freeze, and dishes and that sort of thing. My little guy needs his pants hem, so weather tends to dictate what you do on the homestead. But thank you so much for watching and following along with us. May the Lord bless and keep you until next time.